My name is Stephanie Sutherland. I'm a neuroscientist, so I have a PhD in neuroscience, but I don't do research in the lab. I write about neuroscience mostly for researchers and also for some magazines as well. I also teach yoga, um, a basic um, group class at a studio in my community here in Southern California. And um, I recently finished the 500-hour uh, Vinny Yoga Foundations program with AVI. So my personal practice um, is usually not asana first thing in the morning. I'm married, I have two kids, two young kids, so our house is very busy in the mornings. Um, instead, I try to make time at other times of the day to really um, do my practice which could be just 15 minutes of asana on my own at home, um, but a couple of times a week I really like to do a longer asana practice. I also like to use the other tools um, of yoga um, besides asana, including um, pranayama. I really enjoy pranayama breathing. Um, I use chanting, sound. Um, I like to do candlelight meditation. So I came to train with AVI after practicing asana practice for, for many years. Um, as a neuroscientist, I am always looking kind of from that perspective and asking, you know, what would modern science say about these practices? And I always sort of held neuroscience and yoga as, as separate entities, separate things, and I came to realize through my deeper study of yoga that they really are very complementary. They're sort of interwoven, and in fact, they both are a system to understand the human mind. Um, so I just, I think it's amazing, and it's deepened my appreciation for both yoga and neuroscience, um, as I see um, how well they support one another. And also, it's amazing to me that neuroscientists, um, researchers of, of many kinds around the world in both laboratories and in clinics, are exploring the ideas and really sort of testing some of the ideas that were handed down by the ancient yogis. So the benefits that the yogis saw from the practices that they've handed down over thousands of years, those are being borne out by, by medical research.